welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video for you guys. It's a little bit different than what I filmed before, but it is a recipe style video, a kind of cook with me type of video. And today we are making pumpkin rice crispy treats. I followed this recipe from the Cordially Invited book by Zoe Sugg. Um, she is a YouTuber that I adore, so I'll link that down below if you guys want to check that book out. Um, the only difficulty I ran across is that she's from the UK, so the measurements are a little bit different, but they came out great. So if you guys want to see how to make these delicious pumpkin rice crispy treats, then go ahead and keep on watching. That we're going to do is in a medium saucepan we're going to melt the butter and marshmallows together over medium heat. I learned this the hard way and I did not use a medium sized saucepan so everything was kind of overflowing so definitely use a bigger saucepan if you have one. So we are just going to kind of let it do its thing and melt together and we are going to combine all of the spices and the salt together in a small bowl. Okay, so here we are just starting to mix the marshmallows. We're not completely mixing them yet because we are going to take the spices that we just combined and the orange gel food coloring and we're going to pour that over top of the marshmallows and the butter and then we are going to mix that completely together. With the food coloring you kind of just have to eyeball it. I used kind of a hefty amount but I went back in for more just to amplify that orange color. Once we've completely mixed this together we are going to remove it from the heat. So now it's time for the Rice Krispies and the recipe that I was following had UK measurements so I had to kind of just eyeball this but if I were to say how much I did a little bit more than half of the bag and I did get the bigger box of the cereal. And I encourage you not to make the same mistake as me and use a small saucepan because trust me I got this everywhere. This is the more difficult part of this recipe. Um, just trying to mix it all together, but you can kind of see here I'm doing um, a technique called folding where you kind of dig underneath and fold it over top if that makes sense, but just do this until you evenly coat the cereal. So this next part may seem a little bit gross, but I promise you it's the only thing that worked and the recipe did tell me to do this as well. So it tells you to butter your clean hands. So take that stick of butter and completely butter your hands. And then you're gonna grab a small piece of the cereal mixture that we just combined and you're gonna roll that into your hands until it makes a ball and kind of form it to look a little bit like a pumpkin as much as you can. Trust me, if you don't use the butter, then it's just going to stick all over your hands and be a complete mess. And I did find that I had to butter after each little pumpkin or else it would just stick to my hands. So I would just butter your hands, roll a ball, butter your hands, roll a ball.
made about 14 little pumpkins for me. So after you roll them, you're just going to set them in the fridge to form and chill for 30 minutes. So I could not find green fondant icing anywhere. So the green little stems did not work out for me very well, but I'll leave the instructions for you guys if you want to try it yourself. Alrighty, that is the recipe. It was super easy to make, super quick and easy, and they're so fun and festive. So if you guys decide to try them out, let me know down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.